Hey everyone, welcome to Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss the new Scream 6 poster just released about an hour ago on the official Scream Twitter account. Now this is the third poster that has dropped and the second poster that has been released in the last seven days. Now the previous one came out on Christmas Day and this new poster being released today on New Year's Day. Now, the last poster on Christmas gave us lots of clues, such as Wrongly Accused, the musical, we saw Stab 9, and we saw other things as well. But today's poster has one thing in particular that is standing out head and shoulders above the rest. Let's go! Okay, so let's dive right into this poster. So here we see it's a New York City subway poster, like a map. And we have the black background and then all of the multiple color lines for like these subway tracks, which of course come together to make the ghost face mask, as we can see. Now, what's interesting about this is as you look at it, you see there are names of pretty much not, not necessarily every character, but almost every character you can think of from the previous five films, they are all in here on a, one track or another. So you see them from all the movies, and they're all, you know, what signify with a circular white station like a stop where you would, you would get off there at your, or load up there. Now, what's interesting, though, about this poster, as I mentioned earlier, unlike... The Christmas poster where there's Easter eggs seemingly all over the place, there's really only two that stand out that I can see on this poster that are different than the others. The first one I want to point out is Kirby Reed here on the orange right side. And you see for Kirby Reed, it says it has an X and it says closed. So the Kirby Reed station <laughs> or drop off spot is closed so that's one thing but then the only other difference on this map if you look at the very top where we have billy loomis we have sam carpenter which is a very large circle to the left of her is billy loomis and then to the left of billy we have Stu mocker and if you look at Stu mocker's circle it's not white like every other person other than kirby Stu's color is pink, or some could say a light colored red. But either way, it's distinguished and definitely not like the rest. So this is a very intriguing, guys. This is the first, uh, you know, now some would argue that the, the aged mask could be the very first marketing material that we saw from Entertainment Weekly magazine, the exclusive. Um, that could be pointing to Stu Mocker in this franchise returning. However, this is the first time we have an official uh, marketing piece from the studio that has anything at all that is signifying Stu Mocker, something different about him. Now, we could, you know, we don't want to jump to conclusions, right? That, that this is not necessarily the studio saying this means Stu is going to be in Scream 6. That does not necessarily mean that. But it does mean something. So there is a reason for this uh, to be distinguished this way. Now, that's the fun part. We're, we, we have to put our detective hats on. One of the possibilities could be, yeah, they are kind of setting some groundwork, kind of letting us know, be on the lookout. You, we may be surprising you. We may be bringing you some new revelation that you maybe didn't know before about Stu Mocker. That's entirely possible. Or it could mean someone is related to Stu Mocker. This could be about perhaps indicating Leslie Mocker's involved, or maybe one of these uh, younger kids that are like college aged in this film 
One of those could be a cousin or some relative of Stu Mocker. That's a possibility as well. But one thing that we have to all, all acknowledge at this point is that they are distinguishing Stu for a reason. There is definitely something going on. And I was on a conversation with Killjoy Jake a couple days ago. We did a live stream. And one of the things he mentioned was is that, you know, he's kind of back off the Stu train for now until he sees things that start to say, well, you know, maybe, could be, those kind of things. And I'll be real curious to talk to him uh, about this poster week because I just just came out, like I say. But this is, this would technically qualify for what he was talking about, where we have something that is actually uh, making us point to Stu Mocker for some reason. Pay attention to him. So there's something to it. Don't know what it is. We'll know on March 10th, but it's definitely exciting. And if you guys know, I am the self-professed conductor of the Stu train, and I've I'm never getting off that train. I believe he's alive. Now, that doesn't mean he's going to come back, but I do believe he's alive and that he can come back should they write him into the story. And they certainly can do that. Uh, doesn't matter what anyone from the past says, even Kevin Williamson. If the writers and the current team want him back, they'll bring him back, just like they did Kirby Reed. So that'll happen if that's what they want to do. But I'm excited as someone on the Stu train who is who does believe Stu's alive and the evidence points to it, that this is something at least that we can look at and say, hmm, that's interesting, that's different, that means something. And we'll have to wait and see exactly what it means till we see the movie, but that's what makes this so much fun. So guys, I just had to jump on here. I know the video's not crazy long, but I wanted to jump in at least, share this with you in case you haven't seen it yet because it is brand new. And I had to mention this interesting Stu Mocker designation on this poster. Some reason that is a different color dot. So we'll have to see together what it actually is and why it actually is. But I know that there's a lot of possibilities. And one of those possibilities is in fact that Stu Mocker will make his return as we've been talking about for a long time possibly even in Scream 6, although I still do want Stu back in Scream 7. That's my preference. That's my, really what I've been wanting to see for since Scream 5, really. Uh, if they didn't do it in 5, I would say, okay, let's go to 7 and close out the trilogy. But listen, I've said this also. If they do it in Scream 6, I'm not going to be mad. <laughs> All right. I will not be upset about that. I'll, I'll be happy and I'll take it. But Again, we don't know for sure that's what it means. So, and I'm not saying that's what it means, but I am saying it means something. And that's what's going to be interesting to find out. All right, guys. Well, listen, I will leave it here. But I want to know, what do you think about this new poster? And what do you think the significance is that Stu Mocker is highlighted in a pink or light red, unlike any other character on this poster? What could it mean? What do you think it means? I want to know your thoughts, ideas, and theories because it has to mean something. So start leaving your comments below right now so we can discuss it together. And I'll always love to see what you guys come up with. Well, that's going to be all, guys, for this update. But I will be back soon with more Scream 6 and other horror movie content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Craving Something Scary, where it's all horror all the time. Thank you for watching.